As the old saying goes, it's better to burn out than to fade away. And that's truer than ever when we talk about cars. Some names show incredible longevity, but along the way they lose something that made them special. The Camaro is able to sidestep this by going away for a while instead of suffering a long stretch of mediocrity. This dormant period worked out in Camaro's favor, while rivals like Mustang and Charger were fighting for dominance in this new resurgence of American muscle, Chevy was quietly crafting their own contender with a focus on performance and handling. This made the fifth generation Camaro wildly successful. This year, the Chevrolet Camaro comes back in its sixth iteration. Lighter, more nimble, and more powerful. To experience the car for ourselves, Chevy gave Digital Trends a unique challenge. Take the new Camaro from Orlando, Florida to New Orleans. Along the way, find new roads. Sun, Citrus, and Jambalaya. We were more than happy to answer the call. The 2016 Camaro has three power plants available. The 2.0-liter turbo four-cylinder, the 3.6-liter V6, and the mighty 6.2-liter V8. Drawn at random, we scored the keys to the V6 model that was married to a six-speed manual transmission. So like I said, Chevy challenged us to find new roads, and I have to admit, I'm going to rediscover some old ones as well. The purpose is to feel this car out on a long journey, and this is also going to be a bit of a personal journey for me too. I used to grow up in Florida, that's not a big deal that we're starting here, but the big thing for me is uh, our destination is New Orleans. I used to live there as a very small child with my parents. I don't really have any memories of it, but I've heard stories. So this is sort of a way for me to reconnect with a bit of the past of my own life that I, I don't really have much recollection to. The look of the 5th Gen Camaro was a huge factor in its success, and Chevrolet rightfully realized that a wild departure in styling wouldn't exactly be the smartest move. That's why the new 6th Gen is more of a natural evolution of the previous version style. The whole package is meant to be more athletic and lean, sporting a shrink-wrapped body over a muscular structure. Beneath the surface is DM's Alpha platform, which is also the basis of the Cadillac ATS. That's a good thing because the structure is designed for lightness and excellent weight distribution, particularly for rear-wheel drive vehicles. The result is that the Camaro, like the ATS, feels incredibly balanced and nimble. Purists grumbling that it's simply an ATS in the guise of their favorite pony car need not worry, as the Camaro was made up of 70% unique components. It's lost at least 200 pounds since the last version while upping the rigidity up by 28%. The result is a car that feels very taut and easy to throw around if so inclined. The Gen 5 Camaro was wildly popular and a lot of people liked it. They thought it was very stylish, but for me, it wasn't ergonomically designed. I would sit in it and it felt like there was a prototype that wasn't fitted towards a person. And that kind of stayed with it through every refresh for me. They've done a great job with this one. They're not trying to hold on to these fantastically retro characteristics anymore. The interior is extremely modern. You still have this gauge cowl that sort of is a throwback, but it's one big solid piece. Visibility is better, it's not perfect. They still have these huge blind spots, these big haunches I can't see out of the, the rear quarters. They used to have these old air conditioning controls. Now you have these two giant vents and a strip of controls underneath the eight inch screen. The eight inch screen, by the way, handles everything that you need. And it also has multi-touch gestures. So if I want to zoom in and zoom out, I can just do that. It's not great, but it does it. Some of them don't even do that. It feels like a completely different car. Other changes to the interior include swapping out the manual handbrake for an electronic one, which frees up center console room, contributing to a smoother range of motion while shifting. You can be a manual transmission driver all your life and get in the fifth gen Camaro and you're making a hash of it. Everything goes ham fisted. Shifting in the, with this particular six speed manual is amazing. It feels so smooth and so light, and so effortless. Everything just feels really natural. So the weather went from completely sunny to buckets of rain, so much so that I couldn't see anything in front of me because of Florida. And we were out of it just as fast as we got in it. Similar to its big brother, the Corvette, the Camaro has different driving modes. One is tour mode, and that kind of makes everything more about driving the distance. Sport firms everything up, ups the throttle response. There's another one for snow and ice. So that also changes things a little bit, just so it gives you a little bit more confidence when you're driving you know, through bad weather. Um, I definitely turned it on once I couldn't see anything in front of me in the Camaro. Through the integrated OnStar system, the Camaro can also be a roving 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, which is so stable we were able to video chat with family members eager to see the interior of the car. By the time the sun set, the Camaro had devoured over 400 miles, and we had reached the National Museum of Naval Aviation, stopping to admire the F-14 Tomcat on display. 
we felt that this was an appropriate time to make further use of the OnStar service to find us a place to stay in the Big Easy. Connecting to OnStar. Thank you for calling OnStar. This is Erica speaking. How can I assist you on your fine new road trip? Hi, Erica. Uh, we need a hotel. We continued our journey into the night, and after 650 odd miles, we arrived in downtown New Orleans. Dawn rose the next day, it was time for us to saddle up again and explore the town's history-laden streets. So we got to the Big Easy late last night, and after some gumbo and alligator po' boys, it's time to start day two of our journey of finding new roads. Six hundred consecutive miles is plenty to get a feel for what the V6 power plant is capable of. The 3.6 liter engine produces a very reasonable 335 horsepower and 284 pound-feet of torque, but it somehow felt a little lacking when the pedal was to the metal. That's plenty of power to have fun with, no question, but even with a 0-60 to 60 of 5.2 seconds, it felt like the Camaro was meant to do better. It's clear that the Camaro was meant to house the 455 horsepower 6.2 liter V8. Whichever engine you choose, the Camaro rides on the independent front and rear suspension that made it a star. The Mustang may have finally ditched the live rear axle and gained some sporty characteristics, but the Camaro arguably feels more sports car-like through the corners. By journey's end, we had learned a lot of our stalwart travel companion. It may not be the best tourer, but its refined ergonomic interior means it's comfortable and easy to command for exceptionally long stretches. We like the V6, but we also long to see what the V8 is capable of. It was time to part ways, but we had one last stop to make before going home. On March 27th, 1981, my dad, fresh to this country, got construction work working on his bridge. After a quick payphone call, I remember those, right? He finds out that his young wife had given birth to his firstborn son. And that's where my story begins. The end of my journey of rediscovering roads comes here, full circle. Chevy challenged us with finding new roads, and after over 600 miles, it's clear what this means for the Camaro. Bringing back a classic name badge often means looking back at the good old days and trying to recreate them with retro tastically styled modern versions of the car. There's value to that, but it's clear that with the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro, it's all about finding new roads, looking forward, making new memories, telling new stories. This Camaro gave me the opportunity to discover a bit of my past, and thanks to this, I'm even more eager to see what the future holds. <laughs>